in arena the sorceress dilla has the vision of the future where the forces of good and evil will engage in a final battle of mortal combat that threatens to end all realms in an effort to spare the realms dilla's husband argus an elder god constructs a pyramid where the battle will take place and has his sons tavan and dagon put into dormant states in caverns Delia instructs her elemental blaze to signal their dragons to awaken them just before final battle commences. In the future, Tavan is awakened by his dragon Orion in Earthrealm and is told that he and Dagon will be competing against each other in their quest. Wishing to speak with his father, Tavan teleports to his father's temple and fights several members of the Black Dragon as well as mysterious warriors in red only to find it deserted. He eventually finds a message left to him and Dagon by Argus stating that they will be competing to take his place as an elder god by defeating Blaze and that he has left weapons for each of them. When Tavan finds both weapons are missing, he is suddenly stunned and unconscious by Sector. Despite being imprisoned in a Tekonin warship, Tavan manages to free himself and defeat Sector before escaping back to Orin's portal. Tavan then travels to his mother's temple in the mountains where she has left armor for Dagon and himself. Upon reaching the temple, Tavan finds that it has been occupied by the Ling Kuei and is forced to fight through their assassins including Frost and their grandmaster Sub-Zero. Upon defeating the latter, Tavan retrieves his armor and is soon attacked by Dark Ling Kuei. Alongside Sub-Zero, Tavan defeats the attackers after fighting both Smoke and Noob Cyborg. With Tavan's assistance, Sub-Zero reveals the identity of the mysterious warriors attacking him as the Red Dragon and that they are based out of Shared Mountain. Upon traveling through the portal, Tavan is forced to fight Fujin when the latter wants him to return to Edeno. Tavan reluctantly defeats the Wind God and proceeds to the Red Dragon stronghold and finds Diagon. Who is now much older. Despite being reunited, Dagon reveals himself as the leader of the Red Dragon and his intention to kill Tavan in order to kill Blaze first. Tavan then fights several enemies and eventually finds Dagon's dragon, Karo, who has been imprisoned and experimented on. Upon being freed, Karo reveals that he had accidentally awakened Dragon earlier than planned, which resulted in Dagon seeking out and murdering Argus and Delia upon learning the, the true nature of the competition. Hoping to atone for his mistake, Karo informs Tavan that Dagon has gone to the Netherrealm and stays behind to destroy the Red Dragon stronghold. Arriving in the Netherrealm, Tavan repels an ambush by Dramin before noticing Shinnok being attacked by Li Mei. Believing that he is still an elder god, Tavan comes to Shinnok's defense and is later tasked to help reclaim his spire in exchange for answers of Dagon's whereabouts. After Tavan defeats Havik, Shiva and Kintaro, Shinnok reclaims his throne and informs Tavan that Dagon has returned to Earthrealm and transports him there. However, it is revealed that Shinnok is actually assisting Dagon and has informed other warriors of the contest's rise in order to eliminate all the competitors. Upon returning to Orin's cave, Tavan finds him mortally wounded by an attack by Quan Chi. On the verge of death, Orin keeps Quan Chi portal open to prevent Tavan from remaining trapped in the cave with him. Vowing revenge, Tavan goes through the portal and arrives at Shao Kahn's place in Outworld. After reaching the palace dungeons, Tavan fights and defeats Melina and comes across a captive Sujinko, who informs him of a meeting taking place in Shao Kahn's throne room. After fighting through Goro and Riko, Tavan reaches the meeting between Quan Chi and Shang Tsung, Onaga and Shao Kahn where they agree to an alliance to take possession of the contest prize before transporting themselves to Argus Pyramid. Before he can follow, however, Tavan is confronted by Raiden who reveals he has made a deal with Shao Kahn to assist him in exchange for Earthrealm's independence. Shocked at Raiden's betrayal, Tavan defeats him before taking Quan Chi's portal to Edina. Once through the portal, Tavan fights and defeats Scorpion before being confronted by Dagon. Before they can fight, however, they are interrupted by the evil Bliss who informs them that the competition has been corrupted and that they are fighting in the wrong place. Transported to the edge of Carter, Tavan and Dagon engage in a fight final battle. Although Tavan ultimately kills Dagon, he becomes disillusioned with the quest and refuses to go further until Blaze reveals the true nature of the quest. With all the fighters engaged in mortal combat in the Carter, 
Blaze reveals that it will be the epicenter of the apocalypse unless the quest is fulfilled, with their respective armors being the catalyst for ending Armageddon. Only Tywin and Dagon are meant to defeat Blaze with one of two outcomes occurring depending on which brother completed the quest first, and will either destroy all the warriors or strip them of powers and abilities, reclaiming his sword from his fallen brother. Tywin travels through a portal and fights his way to the top of the pyramid to confront Blaze. Tywin manages to defeat Blaze and become an Elder God. However, neither outcome occurs and instead the fighter's powers are increased. Tywin vows to use his status as Elder God to find another solution to prevent Armageddon.